In this tutorial, we will discuss how to create a realistic interaction like this, between some falling object and a cloth, in Blender. So let us start with a blank new file. We will first create a cloth object. So go to the Add menu and add a plane. Let us enlarge it by a factor of 5. And we'll move these objects little above the ground. Let's say we move the cube by 10 units, and then the plane by say 5 units. Before we add a cloth physics for this plane, we need to add enough number of subdivisions for this. So let us go to the edit mode. While the four vertices are selected, right click here and select subdivide. Then open this operator box, here we can change the subdivision level to say 32. Now deselect everything and select the four vertices at the four corners. Later we would like to pin the cloth at these four points. So go to this object data properties and create a new vertex group. Then click on Assign, so that the selected vertices get assigned to this vertex group. Now, back to the object mode, we have to go to the Physics tab, and enable the cloth physics. We'll go with the default options, but expand this shape section. Here, in the pin group, we have to select the vertex group that we have just created. And under Collisions, we have to enable the self-collisions. If we then run the simulation, it will show cloth behavior. We will now drop the cube on this cloth, but if we simply add rigid body physics, it won't work. The best way to make it work is to use a soft body physics for the cube, it will then interact with the cloth, and we can also tweak it to behave almost like a rigid body. So select the cube and enable soft body physics. Within this, we have to disable the goal option and then expand the section for edges. Here, we need to change these two fields to the maximum possible value and also increase this bending field to 1. But the cube will still not interact with the cloth. We have to also enable the collision physics from here. Then, go to the section called Softbody and Cloth. We need to increase this damping value to say 0.75. And we also need to add the same collision physics for our cloth, we need to enable it for both the objects. Then like before, we need to increase the damping value to say 0.75. Now if we go to the first frame and run the simulation, we'll see that the cube perfectly falls on the cloth. It will then push the cloth downward, almost like a sack, and it looks quite realistic. This is something that you won't get if you use rigid body physics or just cloth physics alone. And there is no penetration as well. But it will look far better if we add some smoothness to this cloth. So select this, and from the object menu, select Shade Smooth. Now it looks perfect. We should always check if there is any penetration. And please remember that the order of these physics properties is important. In the modifiers tab, we can see two entries, they are for the cloth physics and for the collision. This sequence is very important. If we place the collision before the cloth, then it won't work. So we have to keep the collision after the cloth physics. Their order in the physics tab doesn't matter, because we can see that the collision is added at the top. The order in the modifiers tab is what matters, because Blender will calculate the physics in this order. And similarly for the cube, the collision physics should go after the soft body. Now, we can make one further improvement on this. Let us run it again. We will discover that the initial interaction is not very realistic. The cube should deflect the cloth much more faster due to its velocity. We can achieve that effect by modifying the cloth physics. So let us go to the Physics tab. Scroll down to the Cloth Physics. We will go to the section called Object Collisions, and we need to play with this distance value. So let us go to frame number 30, when the cube is about to hit the cloth. We will change this distance value to say 0.1, and insert a keyframe. Then maybe for frame number 60, we will change it back to the original value, 0.015, along with a keyframe. Now if we run it again, we will see that the interaction is much faster, and it looks more realistic, so this is how we can easily drop an object onto a cloth surface in Blender. But this is also not error-free, which we will discover in the next example. Here we have replaced our cube with a sphere, and we have enabled the soft body physics and collision like before. And for this one, we have as usual added the cloth physics and also the collision. But for a sphere, we have got many subdivisions on its surface. This can greatly impact the soft body physics, so we had to make a change. Under the section for edges, 
we have used a slightly lower value in the pull and push fields for better stability. So if you see that the soft body physics is going unstable for you, you can try to reduce these values from their maximum. Now in the cache section, we will bake this physics so that it can run faster in real time. Once complete, we can run the simulation. Apparently it looks good, because the ball interacts with the cloth as expected, and it also nicely pulls down the cloth. But if we look at the bottom side, we'll see that the ball started penetrating the cloth at certain points, so this is far from perfect. We cannot avoid it totally, but we can hide it. It's easy to hide, because the penetration is only on the bottom side. But there is also another better way to handle this. Let us select the cloth object, and go to the modifiers tab. Here, we can add a solidify modifier. This will add a thickness to the cloth, and the thickness can be as low as 0.01. But ensure that this offset value is minus 1, so that the thickness is added to the bottom side of the cloth. Let us run it once again and verify the result. It looks good from the top angle just like before. And it is not a bad idea to add a thickness here, because a cloth also has some thickness, it is not a paper-thin material. The penetration is still happening on the bottom side, but it is no longer visible due to the thickness. So this is one way to handle their interaction. Soft body collisions are not perfect in Blender, so we tried to create a realistic interaction, if not completely perfect. If you want to get these blend files and experiment with them, you can join this channel with the join button below. I hope you like this tutorial, and if you want to learn cloth physics from the scratch, look for our previous tutorials in this playlist. So thanks for watching, see you next week with another such tutorial, and don't forget to subscribe to this channel.